I talked to a coworker and the coworker was just like, yeah, man, I've been looking into ATMs, automated teller machines. And he told me, dude, this is amazing. Imagine you can buy your machine and you put your own money inside the machine. And then people pay are paying the machine. They're withdrawing your money without you being there. And they're like, Paul, do you know what that is called? And I'm like, business? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me. And they're like, dude, that is called residual income. There's the key takeaway, guys. I used to work 80 to 100 hour work weeks for five years before it finally hit me that I still had 27 years left to retirement at the age of 29 and I suffered multiple back injuries and I was destroying my personal relationships with not only my partner in life, but my family that I love so much. So something hit me, something hit me. Something inside of me told me like, dude, it's like coming to, come to God's speech, right? Where you're like, huh, what should I do? And I did the first thing that I heard guys, almost always God said that he said ATMs because it stuck with me. It stuck with me. I never thought ATMs. I was like, I thought the banks owned those. Welcome, welcome to the live training. This is Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com. I'm super pumped to be here. Uh, I was telling Ghetto, man, this is such an exciting live training. Uh, I'm excited to be doing it live here from uh, Cali. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and start these lessons. Now, ATM basics, guys, okay? With ATM basics, the fastest and quickest way. I'm gonna talk about starting your ATM business in 2024, okay? There's a few things that you guys need to know, especially if you're brand new and you have been doing a little bit of due diligence, but you still don't know where to start. I understand I've been there, okay? The number one roadblock right now is the banks. And let's go ahead and dive into that. Now, guys, if you guys watched the live that I was a part of, uh, uh, it was either last week or the week before, I brought this map up. And this map is not to scare any of you, okay? Let me explain until you guys are like, oh no, what is this? Now, if you guys look at the states that are covered in red, okay? That means that based on our research, okay? That area either doesn't have any banks that will approve you for a business checking account or it's saturated, okay? Yes, it is 2024, guys. With that, I mean, I'll be going into my second lesson talking about, you know, if ATMs are still worth it. Yes, they are still worth it. But the placement is everything. The location is everything. So with that being said, the actual states are highlighted in red for ATMs. That means that we do not recommend to place ATMs in those states because you're going to have issues with the bank or you're going to have issues with finding locations. Now. If you guys are in these states, you're probably thinking like, Paul, well, I'm in California. Paul, I'm in Texas. Paul, I'm in Washington. Does that mean that I'm shit out of luck and I can't get an ATM place there? Guys, I like to go off transparency. I like to run good business. This is why we've been here on the online game for the past three years. On top of that, I've been in the ATM industry way before that. So a total of seven years now. The only reason why I've been able to sustainably be in business for the past seven years is because we do good business, okay? If something doesn't work out for our clients, we always tell our clients to come reach out to us. Anyone can reach out to us at support at atmtogether.com. My email is paul at atmtogether.com. My operations guy uh, email is getem, G-E-D-A-M, at atmtogether.com. Guys, we have all the information on all our websites, our social media platforms where you can reach out to us if there's ever an issue, okay? But to go back to what I'm saying is that I believe in good business. So if there's ever an issue, I want to fix it. I want to fix it because I, I, I am human. I have feelings and I, I care for folks, okay? With that being said, I don't want to go ahead and tell you that we can place and that we can't place it because that has happened a few times. Remember, guys, we have thousands of clients. but 
we typically what ends up happening is we find them another option or we just refund the money. That's just what it comes down to. It's easy peasy, guys. I always say entrepreneurship is not hard. I used to think it was hard because I didn't know any better. I didn't have the blueprint, okay? But now after running a few multi-million dollar companies, guys, in the past six, seven years, I'm, I, I tell you flat out, it's simple, okay? Once you know the blueprint, it's simple. Now, the dark orange states, Oregon, Nevada, that is that means that we cannot install BTMs. That is the Bitcoin teller machine. Okay. Now to go back to the same question that you guys are probably wondering right now, Paul, get to the information. Does that mean that we can't do business in those states? You could do business in any of these states. We ATM together just will not enroll you in these states. And the reason why is because we choose the path of least resistance. We do not want to promise you a placement and then we can't do it. It's a waste of time for you. It's a waste of time for us, guys. Full transparency. You can try going with, with other ATM companies. And guys, I, I'm probably the first guy that you've heard that is going ahead and seeing this. Majority of companies, they will take your money and promise and say, oh yeah, we got you. And then and not coming through your word and they probably have you sign your contract. Dude, it's crazy, okay? That's not us. We want to do good business. So if you're seeing this right now, and let's say you're in California and we're saying like, hey, we can't do ATMs. It just means that you cannot do ATMs with ATM together, unfortunately. Unless, there's always on unless. Unless you're already a grandfather in client and you already have a business checking account from us. Okay, that's the only way, guys. Last year, I fought tooth and nail to land a regional contract with a huge bank. And we were a-okay, guys. We were a-okay for banks everywhere in the United States. But what ended up happening? Some comp competing companies found out about that connection. Because people talk. People talk. And unfortunately, one of the existing clients ended up telling a competitor. That competitor ended up selling their clients to that bank. And something in the process with one of the other competitors' uh, applicants happened. Because we thoroughly screen our applicants. We screen our, our entrepreneurs because, guys, I come from the law enforcement world. We, we, do, we do background checks. We have to. We have to do due diligence. We're about good business. So that ends up happening, which messes up the bank situation for a lot of people. And come to find out this year, we're not allowed to use that specific bank anymore. I was just like, no, why? Right? But for the rest of the states, okay, for the rest of the states, you guys are A-OK. -okay. Green light, guys. Green light. So if you're in any other state, you have family, you have business associates in every other state, we can help you 110%. Okay? Um, but once again, if you are in, let's say, California, Texas, Florida, and you still want to do business with, with me, okay? We do have other residual income opportunities, guys, okay? We do have other residual income opportunities. And if you guys are interested in hearing and actually looking at some information regarding these other products that we have, because I have another company that does a completely different model and it's, it's wonderful. Okay. What I want you guys to do is go ahead and comment red. That's going to be R E D comment red in the comments. If you're in one of the red or burnt orange States, and you are interested in receiving information directly from me and my team about another business opportunity that does bring residual and passive income. What I'm going to do is I'm personally going to reach out to you and I'll go ahead and I'll shoot you a link. So then you're able to see a short video that explains this opportunity for that, for that business. Okay. But for everyone else, if you're interested in ATMs, I got you. Okay. Make sure to comment ATM down in the comments below if you're still interested in ATMs and you want a free guide. It's actually our latest free guide 
from A to Z that explains the process. And as a special bonus, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to try to open up the calendars sometime this weekend so I could jump on some calls to talk to you guys. Yeah, that's right. I was just talking to uh, my COO and I told him, hey, man, I know we've been sold out for weeks on informational calls because ever since we, we did the interview with Fox News, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. OK, we're only limited because we, we, we have to limit the amount of enrollments we do on a monthly basis. We only have seven enrollments left for this week, guys. Seven. OK, so what I'm going to do what my operations guy is going to do, we're actually going to jump on some calls. OK, and I'm already jumping the gun because I usually announce this towards the end of these live presentations. But if you guys want to be part of those seven that are interested in ATMs and your state is not red. OK, what I want you to do is I want you to comment limit less. That's going to be L I M I T L E S S comment limit less. If you want to be part of the seven left slots in our program, our ATM program, if you're not in the red or in the burnt orange on, on this map. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to have one of my teammates go ahead and send you guys the link to book a call. And then we'll get you more information. We'll get you enrolled. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the basics. So the, with the basics with the ATM business, you're going to need the LLC. And let, and let me and let me roll back the screen. Okay. You're going to need enrollments with the LLC. For, for speed purposes, I recommend using Inc. File. That's going to be I-N-C-F-I-L-E.com. Use the most cost effective package, which I believe is the silver package. You don't need the whole enchilada. You don't need all those documents that they're gonna give you, okay? The only thing you need is the silver package. You wanna expedite the delivery of your LLC. Now, you could get your EIN number at irs.gov. It takes less than two minutes. You only have to do it between Monday and Friday during business hours, guys. So if you're in Pacific time, that's going to be 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific. And then Eastern time, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to get your documents within a week on most cases. Once you do, now, if you're enrolled with us on ATM Limitless, we can help you obtain the bank information with a bank in your area that's going to approve you um ahead of time like we already know it's vetted if you're doing this on your own what i would recommend and listen closely guys okay this is what we that's this is what clients still do when they're doing it on their own go to yelp go to y-e-l-p go to yelp.com and you're going to type in credit unions in your city you also want to type in banks okay you want to go to smaller banks. I don't recommend going to the big three. The big three, that's Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Chase. The reason why, they became very strict when it comes to ATMs. You're probably wondering why. The reason why, guys, is because in the past, there's been a, a bunch of bad apples that have used ATMs for money laundering. Yes, not everybody's good, right? And also, it's a high risk business for the bank. And on top of that, we're direct competitors to them. So we're taking their clientele. With that being said, a lot of the bigger banks do won't deal with you. And if you do get the chance to open a bank account with them, good luck. Within a few months, they usually send you a letter saying they're going to close your account within a few weeks. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Go with smaller banks, go, to, go with smaller credit unions. Now, the next step that you want to do, guys, okay? is when you are calling the credit unions or you're calling the banks you want to go ahead and just tell them this one sentence hello i want to open a business checking account for my atm business i need to collect my commissions that's it guys very simple once again i'm going to repeat this very slowly hello i want to open a business checking account to collect my commissions from my ATM. That's it. You're telling them what the business is. You're telling them exactly what it's for. And that, I mean, that's it. They're either going to say yes or no. If they say no, don't get mad. 
just know that it's very, very frequently you're going to get no more than yeses. Once you do get a yes, set up an appointment and then ask them, once again, attention to detail, guys, ask them, what do I need to bring to make sure it's a smooth transaction? They're usually going to ask you, okay, bring your LLC, bring two forms of identification, and bring the ATM processing agreement. For most of you guys that don't know what the ATM processing agreement is, it is the agreement between your processing, your ATM processing company and you, okay? It's basically stating that you are legit. How do I obtain this, Paul? What I would recommend, start talking to ATM companies if you do not get one of the seven slots this month with ATM together. And I'm sorry, guys, we're just in high demand. We've been in business for quite a bit of time and we, we provide the best service out there. You know, we, we, we're not the cheapest, Full transparency, we're not the cheapest, but we provide the best service out there. Um, with that being said, I would recommend getting three bids. If I was doing this all over again, I would get minimum three bids. Don't just go with one company. Always you know, price quote and see what you need based on your needs. Now, <clears throat> once you go with your bids, make sure you talk to a live person and then ask them, hey, do you offer mentorship? Do you offer help? What's the customer service support look like? Are you available on the weekends? Um, do you have access to, to Walters, you know, third-party services that can fill my ATM? Or do you have access to location finder services? Uh, do you have access to um, uh, tech support? Do you have access to a program online that I can watch, you know, lessons or videos or audio to enhance my education level in this industry? Because self-education is everything, guys. You want to ask all these questions. And then you go with who's going to provide you what you need. Now, once you guys do that, ask them, I need an ATM processing agreement from you so I could go open my business bank account for the bank. Any company out there, they should provide you with this. They know now if we say it on our lives for the past three years, and I'm pretty sure that has transitioned to a lot of different companies saying, damn, this guy's giving out all the secrets. With that being said, Take the ATM process agreement, take your LLC, take your two forms of identification and open your business checking account. Business checking accounts nowadays, they probably cost anywhere between $10 to $30 a month. This is normal. Here is a tip for you guys. You guys can get that waived if you put the bare minimum in that account. Usually for, the, for, for those accounts, guys, it's typically around $1,000. Some bank accounts, they're going to want you to put $500 in there. And that's okay because you can use part of that money that you put in the actual checking account to uh, to put, to actually vault your ATM, okay? So don't worry. It's not going to go to waste. Now, once you guys have done that, you guys have done your LLC, you guys have got in your bank, you've talked to an ATM processing company. Usually, the ATM processing company actually supplies your ATM. I recommend to go with a larger company that actually can provide you with everything okay with that being said be careful couple of hard lessons i learned and before i say this well, let me drink this energy drink okay i need that okay so before you guys sign anything remember these two key tips please i worry <laughs> Number one, you are going to keep 100% of your, your uh, surcharge fees, meaning that if you charge $3.50, you get the entire $3.50, okay? When you're new, majority of the time, ISOs, independent sales organizations, they are the primary source for the network processing which makes your ATM work, guys. It's essentially like having a cell phone and having Verizon or AT&T for the service. It's the exact same thing with the ATM business. One in particular that we use for our company, it's called Switch Commerce. Okay, like light switch, Switch Commerce. Um, one of the best. And because the application is very user-friendly, it's good for rookies. You could get the application actually applied to your phone I used to tell people back when I started in the online game and I used to tell them, you know, stories of, you know, me going to Egypt and, and seeing, you know, my transactions on the phone. It was magical. People were like, really? I'm like, yeah, see, look, 
I remember I was running a camel with two, two of my good buddies. And I was like, dude, I love this. Making money while I'm on vacation. This is awesome. And yeah, so you guys would be able to get the application. It's included when you buy an ATM and you use somebody's processing network as well. Okay. Now, the other thing you guys want to look into is you want to make sure that you sign an agreement with them that is month to month. This is the number one advice I could give you. It's the biggest key takeaway. If you guys are going to take anything away from this live presentation is make sure that they don't tie you into a year, a, a two years or three year contract guys, because that's what I did. I did the mistake of sending a three year contract. They were taking up roughly close to 30% of my surcharge fees and they were, they were making thousands of dollars from my AT apps. So when I got my mentor, my mentor told me, Paul, get out of the contract, get out of the contract. I actually stayed in the contract for six months, guys. And this is as I was building my actual route. And I finally got out of it. I had to pay $7,000 to get out of the route. So that was essentially $7,000 that I wasted because I was being cheap in the front end and I didn't want to spend the price from the better company. That's just the way it goes, guys. Life lesson, right? So go where you fit in. That's what I always say. Go where you fit in, where you feel most comfortable with, who you trust and all that jazz. But at the end of the day, you always want to talk to a live person. This is the internet. I don't want anybody to get scammed. I don't want anybody to, to uh, feel like, man, they're not providing me the, the support that uh, I, I want them to, to provide me to be successful because that's what it's about. You need a tribe to build a successful business, okay? Well, with that, location 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 what i would recommend okay and this goes your network is your net worth what you want to do is you want to start telling everyone that you started an atm business the easiest sale that you guys are able to do with closing a deal is by telling your network whether it's your family your friends your associates ask them you never know who someone knows guys so if you have a a friend who's in the restaurant business that's the perfect person to tell that you just got into at to atms and that you're looking for placement and if anybody needs that that service you will be surprised how many people you might know that will give you the opportunity because you know someone that's that's the way i've been able to get into a lot of my high yielding locations aka dispensaries i was able to get into those of those locations because of my mentor my mentor it, it connected me with an investment group and the investment group was investing into dispensaries in california during that time so what was happening when they were sprouting all these dispensaries i was in the guinea pig dispensary and i put an atm in there uh, uh and it did extremely well but here's the thing whenever the machine would go down whenever the machine needed to re, re, be refilled i was there I was there, due diligence. It didn't matter if I was working an 18 hour day and I was hitting home. When the call came in, it's like Batman. It's like the bat sign was out there. <laughs> that's, that's why they called me the ATM guy. They're like, all right, get, put, put the ATM sign up, right? And I, and I was on my way, I was on my way. No, and plus they love, they love the fact that I was a cop too. They were like, oh, you, get, you make me feel safe. I was like, thanks bro, thanks. And so when I got that that initial, what I like to call the beta location, then the investment group basically gave the green light. And they were like, dude, we love you. We're going to give you all these different locations throughout the Bay Area. They even gave me locations like in Sacramento. But I was just like, dude, that's too far. Like, I'm not going to be driving like freaking two hours after like an 18 hour shift to go, you know, fill the, the, the machine. So this is where your network is your net worth. What ended up happening? Well, I had one of my first mentees. He was uh, straight out of college. He was just starting the ATM business. And I remember I got a call before going on vacation and uh, they wanted me to install an ATM before one of my big trips. And at that time I was traveling quite a bit. So I had called my mentee. I was like, hey dude, I'm gonna hook you up right now. And he was just like, okay, I'm gonna give you a dispensary. This dispensary is roughly gonna make you around $1,500 in residuals but i need you to go install the atm tonight okay and he, he went through and he did it he, he was like after that our relationship flourished i was giving him more leads i connected him with my mentor and then he grew and now he is a sales manager for one of my companies and whatnot right hey it's crazy how life works right so anyways besides that 
Um, location is everything, guys. When you guys are looking at locations, you want to see if it's cash driven. I recommend tourist areas. If you live in a rural area, okay, you want to make sure that there's an incentive for someone to use the ATM, whether it is a benefit to the business for the service or the, the actual merchant, the business owner does not give cash back at the register. They instead, have the owner push them towards your ATM. A lot of people miss that. I don't know why. But if, you're, if your account's giving cash back, dude, incentivize them. Be like, hey, look, look I'm going to pay you and you don't have to go to the bank anymore. You don't even have to carry cash at your register. Just, just have all your clients come to me. I'll pay them a very small fee and, or uh, I'll charge them a very small fee and I'm going to give you a percentage. And then, and then it's a win-win, right? And then I'll take care of everything. The maintenance, I'll take care of loading the machine. You won't have to do with no problems. How does that sound? That oh, sounds great. Paul, let's do it. All right, cool. And guys... <clears throat> For many of you that start this, you're probably like, do I need a contract? Like you start tripping out about like templates and like, dude, I got, I got to make sure I have this contract. Guys, ABCs, always be cool, okay? Calm down. This is a simple. Pe uh, people buy from people they like and love, okay? So it, as long as you go ahead and you build foundation, you provide value. And you educate them. You let them know, like, hey, this is the way we can do it. You got to come off as the expert, guys. You, you're, you're the one that has to tell them the strategy. You have to lead them to the water, okay? And then they're going to feel so comfortable because you're being so confident and assertive about what you're talking about, and they're going to want to buy, okay? And essentially, I mean, it, it, for, for most people, they thought it was a scam because they were like, dude, you're going to give me this machine for free? I was like, you don't own it, bro. This, this is like my property, but I am going to be using like a small little, you know, uh, spot in your store and you're going to get paid. How does that sound? That sounds great. You know, so it's a no brainer, guys. All right. To continue, we cover the LLC, we cover the business bank account, we cover processing, we cover the ATM and we cover locations, guys. Now, what else do we need to cover? Tech. This is, it goes very importante to work with a company that actually has the time to give you guys, because what I end up seeing in the market, okay, is that I see a lot of smaller ISOs, independent sales organizations, or sub ISOs, meaning that they are essentially a second in command from the big ISO that provides you the network. And they say like, they could take care of you. They can provide you the best service. They can hook you up with like different services. But what ends up happening is they're a solopreneur. And what is a solopreneur? A solopreneur means that you're alone. You're you're doing everything. So just imagine if this solopreneur has over 100 ATMs and then they're telling you that they're going to make time to help you. There is no way, no how, guys. When I got to 10 ATMs, I had to get two employees. I had to get a part-time maintenance guy. I don't know why the video does that. That's awesome. And then, and then two, I had to get a vaulter. So I had to pay someone <clears throat> a percentage of my ATMs to go fill them up because I got I got so big and having ATMs at that at that time it wasn't even that big. Once I got to thirty, I was just like, God damn, I'm growing, right? And that's when I came into into a crossroad where I was just like, Well, do I want to expand my ATM nationwide for myself or do I just want to stay in Cali? I just started staying in Cali, guys, because the way the way I see it, I was just like, I'm making good cash flow. I was making double the amount of what my bills cost me at the time my bills were roughly under seven thousand dollars at my best months i was making fifteen thousand okay and while i was covering my bills i was also able to invest that money and it reduced my overtime from 80 to 100 hours to 40 hours so what ended up happening genuinely what i tell people diversify guys okay diversify this is a huge recommendation for me especially in 2024 Invest into ATMs, invest into like credit card terminal machines, invest into vending machines, invest into different options, okay? Whew. And the reason why I say this is because if one leg goes down or something happens in one business, you still have all these other businesses running, okay? And they're fairly simple to operate. Now, what I did was ATMs made me financially free. I was then able to take the time that I bought back from the ATMs, and then I learned digital marketing, okay? Guys, Forbes, okay? I'm about to drop some sauce for you guys. Forbes just announced 2023 that digital marketing was the number one highest paying skill in the world, okay? And it's only growing even more. 
So I'm going to give you a game plan right now, okay, on how you guys can leverage all this. So say you guys started with ATMs and you guys got like a solid three, five ATMs and you're growing your ATMs, you're knowledgeable and you've been running it for like a year. What you're able to do with that skill is you're actually able to go online and show other people exactly how you do it. That's it. Very simple. And now people pay you based on your experience and your expertise. And if you want to take it a step further, then you actually reinvest all your money into learning the skill of going ahead and growing the online business where you have employees, you're able to provide other services. Now you ship ATMs. Now you get into other ventures. That's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. I diversified. I diversified my skill set. I self educated myself and I saw the market had a void. What was the void? The void was that there wasn't a regular person like me that comes from blue collar work. Okay. I wasn't born rich. I wasn't born like from a, from a rich family guys. I've worked my entire life. So the success that I have is because of the hard work that I put in. But what I tell you is that I decided to do the program because it was needed. Otherwise people wouldn't start because people get stuck on analysis paralysis. If you don't know what analysis paralysis is, it's when you research so much and then you just give up because you're like, this is too much information overload. And now you think too much, right? So when it comes down to it, I just gave you the complete blueprint right now on starting your ATMs guys, the complete blueprint. Now, if you're wondering what my company does, what my company does is we actually make the process a lot smoother. You get access to our network. We provide you with the ATM. We provide you with the ISO, the independent sales organization. We provide you with the third party services that can actually find your locations. Not only that, but now you guys get access to the latest and greatest machines as well. Like the UTM, the all in one guys, where it's a BTM, it's a Bitcoin teller machine, and it's an ATM. We're one of the first companies affiliated with the company that came out with the machine guys not even the big manufacturers have access to this yet we're the first ones so if you guys wanted to be the first ones to have access to that which is powerful then that's why you would go ahead and then you would com you would comment below limitless for one of those seven slots for this month because i i, I know we're probably already sold out <laughs> we're probably already sold out guys because i announced it at the very beginning of this live i apologize but just go ahead and comment anyways because we'll put you on the wait list i promise you we got you anyways so let's compare atms let's get into the second lesson guys let's compare atms to real estate let's compare atms to any other investment right now online why are atms so great in my expert opinion the reason why ATMs is such a great opportunity because it